Hey, how's it going? And today I'm very excited to bring this tutorial to you. This tutorial is as much a note to myself as it is for the three people out there that are interested in learning how to create a Python script in Lightwave. But I also believe this would have transferability to other programs as well. I would just want to preface this by saying I am showing you the cheater's way to do it and I am cheating every step of the way. Going through the Lightwave documentation to me is like someone threw me from a helicopter with a machete into the Amazon and I am literally macheting my way to civilization. So I feel like I've made my first clearing and I'm sharing this journey. So the goal of this, the ultimate goal of this is to show you how to use Python to automate functions for you so that your life in Lightwave will be easier and happier. It's not to make you frustrated or get you angry, although it can be frustrating. But that's the goal of it. The goal is to make your life easier so you can be more artistic and more creative and have fun. So the goal of it is to automate things for you. So anyway, here we are in Lightwave. One thing you're going to need is a Python editor. This is one called Bonnie. It's free, so I just use it. I, I find it very helpful. So in the previous video, I had showed you how to download these two files from uh, Lightwave. You go into Programs, Program Files, uh, you go to New Tech, Lightwave, and here under SDK, there's these two files. Download these to your desktop and extract them. That's step one. And then once you've got them downloaded, you're going to go in here to the Python folder, and you're going to come down to Index. You're going to double-click on that. And then we're going to go into Hello Worlds. This is our first cheat. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and this code right here, all this code right here. You hit Control C on your keyboard and jump into your editor, which in this case is Thani, and hit Control V. Now there are some bare minimum things for a, a, a Python script to work in Lightwave, and that is all we're going to have is the bare minimum. So what we're going to we don't need this code because this is for a hell world application, so we don't need to even concern ourselves with any of that. So we can delete that, and then we don't need this server record thing either. So we're going to delete that. So all we need is this stuff. If we don't have this stuff it won't work, our script won't work. So we obviously need to import the SDK and then for some reason we need this version thing. So here where these quotes are, you can put anything you want. So you could call this, you know, Vizzy 2020, what happened? <laughs> and then this is gonna be down here, it doesn't really matter, but just to make things kind of like we're coding, we're just gonna type in something like, uh, we'll call this my, first script and that's that and then we're going to down here under hello world and you don't even have to do this I'm just doing this to show you that you it doesn't matter really what you say in here MFS so okay so then all we need to do is command the script to do something and to do that we need to call up the SDK so we would go L W S dk and then dot and then we need the the command or the method and then we have these parentheses that we got to put the command into and because I know that we're going to be doing multiple commands we might as well just go control c this is cheating control v. <laughs> so the, I already know that that's what we're going to do so then we're just going to go ahead and save file save file as we'll save it to our desktop and we'll call it my first app like that I already have one there and I'll just call it yeah I have my first app like that and we'll just go save so we've got that all saved so the only thing we need to figure out now is what do we want to command it to do that's it and this is the bare minimum to write our script so all we got to do is jump into Lightwave and think of well what what do we want to automate well, you know, I've been thinking about that, and one thing that I kind of do a lot, it comes up pretty often, is that I don't, I'll have an, a subject in the scene, and I want an extra light over here on this side, so I'm always duplicating a light and putting it, kind of pointing it in the kind of opposing direction, kind of as a fill light. So 
what I can do, what's going to help us to figure things out, the commands that we need to know, is we're going to kind of look at this else script commander because if you look in here under commands it has all of the commands that the SDK recognizes so there's a lot of them too so every command in here you can command in Python but this is just with L script here L scripts asking the Lightwave SDK to do it in Python we're just asking Python it's just going through Python asking so here it's just like it's you know, where it's like two kids in a house and one kid's asking and then there's another kid asking, asking in different ways, but they're asking the mom for the same thing. You know, can I get a cookie? Can I get a cookie? One's L script, one's Python. They're just different languages, but the same commands essentially. So we can use this to kind of get our mind around all the things that we can do. So how we can cheat here is this actually will record the commands of what we do up here in the screen. So if I uh, select this light, the distant light, and I go to item, and then I go to clone, clone current item, it says number of items, it goes one. It's cloned it. Now I can drag this over here as my, my fill light position, and then I can go to rotation and rotate it toward probably where most likely my subject would be. So this script is going to clone my light and then it's going to move it and point it kind of where I want it. So how much time will that save? I don't know. 15, 20 seconds? I don't know. So it adds up, right? So anyway, down here we see our, our command. So if we come down here and I click on it, I can right click and there's the command there I right click this it shows up up there and I click this right click it it shows up there and right click this it shows up up there so with this particular functionality we can try this one I don't remember seeing this one before what is that one select item so I don't know if this one is gonna know to select that light or not so since this is your first app, I don't want to experiment with adding that command just yet. So we'll go with just these for right now. So these are our four commands that we're going to automate. So then I go Control C, jump back into Thani, and all I got to do is, you know, this might take me a couple seconds to do this. I need one more command here, it looks like. So I'm just going to copy Control C and B to copy and paste. And then the first one is clone one, control X, and I'll just put it right between those parentheses there. Control V, come back down here. I'm I mean you could type all this out by hand if you want, but I'm if I can cut and paste and so but at least you're understanding kind of the basic concepts, right? I mean that's the main thing. Just understand the concept get using it and then you can go back later and read up on the manual it might even make a little more sense once you're at this level and then the last thing we're going to do is copy control X come over here control V and that's it that's our program and this one's called my first app right okay so we'll just save this I'm saving this to my desktop so now let's jump back into Lightwave we're going to close this we're going to uh, clear the scene and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to utilities, we're going to go to add plugin, and where is it? It's my first app right here. Open it. And look, we've been successful. <laughs> so we go, okay. And now it should be down in here somewhere, my first app. There it is right there. Now watch what happens when I click on it. I'm going to get an error saying that the object must be selected. So. I would have to go back and maybe that one line of code would have automatically selected that item. I don't know. But anyway, it's not the end of the world. I just select on the, the light. Now go back to my first app. And look, it automated that for me. So I would imagine that these automations could get very complicated and go on even longer. But the goal of this was just to show you how easy it is to start automating things things that you do routinely in Lightwave using
Python. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great and fantastic day.